Hi guys, I'm Smitha. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top five machine learning master's programs in the US. This video is going to be excellent for a lot of you guys who are considering doing a machine learning master's program in the US and deciding on a master's program is a really big decision. And there's a lot of factors that you guys should consider. So we're going to be looking into just that in order to become a machine learning engineer, it is absolutely not necessary to do a master's program, but there are a lot of reasons why you might make this decision to actually start a master's program. Learning machine learning is already a very difficult task if you are starting as a beginner. And to, uh, to add on top of that, all of this complexity of finding the exact path, finding the right courses online to teach you machine learning, that can be extremely confusing to a lot of beginners and a lot of people who are trying to learn machine learning. So that's exactly why a master's program is actually a really good choice if you are facing these type of problems, because it removes all of this additional complexity because you already have a structured program to work with. So a master's program takes care of a lot of things for you. For example, it takes care of the structure of the course. It takes care about finding the right courses because you already have courses assigned to you on what type of courses you should be taking and the professors, etc. Also, it also takes care of the type of projects that you might be planning on doing. If you were to self study, you would have to find projects that you would like to do by yourself and really experiment with a lot of different projects. And that in itself can be a very interesting challenge, definitely, but this might not be the case for everyone. So with a master's program in a lot of courses that you do in your machine learning master's program, there are already projects which are taking place in those courses, projects which are required to complete those courses. So these projects will be part of your machine learning engineer portfolio. So this is perfect if you're thinking about, you know, getting projects as well. So a master's course really helps with that. Before we get started with today's video, I want to introduce you guys to a brand new web three project, which is super cool. So Satoshi Island is the biggest project within the crypto space, which is truly manifesting itself into the real world. Satoshi Island is a real life island in Wanautu and Satoshi Island is a project where you're able to actually buy land on this island by buying an NFT and you get to own land in this way, as well as building your home, holiday crib, private house or business. And in addition to that, this is a fully self-sustaining uh, island with water and electricity and solar panels installed. There's also a Satoshi token, which will be used for everything on the island from grocery shopping, mortgages, rent, cinema, etc. The cool thing about this project is by buying this NFT, not only do you get to own physical land on this island, you also get to directly translate it into Vanuatu citizenship, which is amazing. The drop for Satoshi Island's NFTs are going to be starting quite soon and the link for all of this will be in the description box below along with the link to Satoshi Island's project where you guys get to see how exciting this project is and it's really cool to see the type of houses that you can build on Satoshi Island on the type of land that you get as well. The first master's program that we'll be taking a look at is Stanford Engineering's master's in computer science with a specialization in artificial intelligence. So the interesting thing about this program is it's not an entirely machine learning specific program, but machine learning and AI is actually a specialization in within the computer science master's program. But the main reason why I'm mentioning Stanford's program first is because it has a lot of notable alumni and also a lot of notable professors. A lot of the professors here are very famous people within machine learning. We have a lot of people who have written some of the most famous machine learning books who are teaching at Stanford and a lot of famous alumni, for example, Fei Fei Li, as well as Andrew Ng. Another thing to note when you're considering master's program is that a lot of machine learning specialized master's program actually are terminal programs meaning that they don't often lead to PhDs after that. But for this specific one, the Stanford uh, program, 
you can actually take a PhD even after taking this master's course. So that's very interesting because this is actually a research based course and you would have to be finding a supervisor and doing research under them compared to a lot of other machine learning master's courses out there which are more course based and project based. On the course page, you can find also the application requirements and the admission requirements as well. And obviously an interesting thing to note is that this is a very competitive program with over 3000 people applying for this, but not all of them are applying for the AI specialization. There's tons of other specializations within it. The second university that we're going to be looking at is Carnegie Mellon. So Carnegie Mellon has a really famous program as well. It's called the Masters of Science in Machine Learning. And this is actually a specialized program specifically for machine learning. So they have a core curriculum, which includes introduction to ML, inter, uh, in intermediate deep learning, probabilistic graphical models, machine learning in practice, etc. And then they also have electives as well. So the electives, you can definitely go ahead and choose. There's a bunch of different electives. So based on what you're interested in, you can choose what you like. For example, natural language processing, computer vision, and many, many more. A great thing about this program is that it includes one semester of a practicum program. So in this one semester, you get to decide if you want to work as a machine learning engineer in your internship or if you would like to do research instead. So it's completely up to you. But this is a great uh, addition to a master's program to have this aspect. So you either get research experience if you want to go into the research aspect or you get industrial experience by working as a machine learning engineer, which is great to have once you graduate and you want to step out into the job sector. The third master's program we're going to be looking at is the master's of science program in Georgia Tech, which has a specialization in machine learning. So this program lasts for two years. So it's a specialization program. So technically the master's in science program in Georgia Tech has 11 different specializations and machine learning is one of them. So you will be taking a lot of core subjects which are found in the other specializations, but you will be taking a lot of electives which are specialized towards machine learning. So these are some of the courses that you will be taking. You get one course from all of these right here, which is the part of the algorithms aspect of machine learning. And then you get to choose a course specific to machine learning. So they have CS7641, which is a machine learning course, or you can go with computational data analysis as well if you want to specialize more into data analytics. And then you can also look into electives where you would have to take three courses out of all of these. So you have a wide range of electives to choose from, from deep learning, machine learning for robotics, natural language processing, big data for health, and many, many more. So this program has three different options in which you can complete it with. So you can complete it with either taking just full on courses and complete this program, or you can actually take a project option where you get to take a 21 hours worth of coursework and a nine hour project. So this project, uh, you'll be doing it with a faculty member in Georgia Tech. And that is actually very interesting because if you can imagine Georgia Tech else has, if you, so if you can imagine Georgia Tech has a lot of famous alumni within machine learning. So it would be actually super interesting to do a project with one of them. And in the last situation, you can actually go and do a thesis option. And similar to the first one, a thesis option is also available. In this situation, you will be actually publishing most likely a research paper. So if you're planning on doing a PhD after this, then I would definitely suggest to go with the thesis option. If you are just planning on making this your final degree, you can either go with a project option or the course option. The fourth university we'll be taking a look at is Duke University, which has a specialized program just for machine learning, and it's called the Data Analytics and Machine Learning Program. The great thing with specialized programs is that they are not general and the entire course is dedicated to machine learning. So there are key takeaways to understand because with the first program where we looked at in Stanford University, which has a bunch of 
you know, amazing, amazing features such as amazing alumni, very famous alumni, and also very famous professors within the machine learning space. It is after all just a specialization uh, of a master's in computer science course. It is not a dedicated master's program just to machine learning. But if you want to go for a dedicated master's program, then you can consider one of these which are offered in Duke University. And let's take a look at some of the key courses that they have. They make use of vector space methods with applications, introduction to machine learning, deep learning, probabilistic machine learning, and many more. And some other notable courses that they have is Bayesian methods and modern statistics, programming, data structures, algorithms, digital, signals pro digital signal processing, image and video processing. So image and video processing essentially refers to computer vision aspect and digital signal processing. We also have textual data acquisition and analysis. So natural language processing right there. So this definitely covers all different aspects of machine learning. And this is a very well structured program. And last but not least, we have MIT, which also has a very similar program to the one Stanford has. Just that I would say that it doesn't have a lot of the famous professors, especially in machine learning that Stanford offers, but it's a very, very similar program. It's a specialization in its master's in computer science program. And the interesting thing about the MIT program is that it actually lasts either between one to two years. And that depends on the type of courses that you are taking. So now that we have looked at these top five programs, I have to say there's a lot of other universities out there as well within the US and in a lot of different countries. The reason why I'm focusing exclusively on the US in this video is because there are a lot of opportunities for machine learning engineers in the US and obviously and obviously they they offer much better benefits and salaries as well. So it's interesting to look at these programs and most importantly, when you are trying to decide on a master's program in machine learning, it's important that you understand what is the end goal. Is your end goal to continue to do research and hopefully to do a PhD or is it to get a job? Because that largely defines the type of program that you should be looking into. Now, the top five universities that I've listed in this video definitely have amazing opportunities regardless of the one you end up choosing. And I'm sure there's a lot of other universities out there with similar situations as well. When it comes to actually applying to these programs, a very important thing to note is that you don't need to have a bachelor's in computer science in order to apply to these programs. That's actually a very common misconception for when it comes to machine learning specializations, especially within computer science. People might assume that you need to have a bachelor's in computer science in order to apply to these programs that's actually not necessary at all. But if you did any sort of engineering or STEM related programs, that is a definite added bonus. And if in your bachelor's, within your bachelor's, you have done a programming course, that definitely helps as well. Since these are very competitive programs, they do look at your extracurricular activities, the type of projects that you have worked on. Maybe if you have done any internships, within your bachelor programs. So all of these really count towards your admission process as well. So all in all, when you're considering which is the right university for you to do your machine learning masters in, there are a lot of factors to consider. Now, when it comes to the level of education, I would say that a lot of these universities offer the same type of courses, basic machine learning, and then with some specialization in deep learning or computer vision and a lot of different electives essentially. So in that aspect, you don't have to worry about one being better than the other, but what is the, the basic uh, differentiable between these universities is the type of people you meet, your networks, and the type of opportunities that you might get after graduating. So that's also very important to consider. Another very important thing to note, which I think a lot of people are not aware of, is that all of these major universities in the US actually offer online courses with specializations in machine learning already. So if you don't want to actually 
uh, attend these universities and complete an entire master's program, you can actually take up these courses as well, which specialize which with specializations in machine learning. So it kind of gets gives you a good understanding of how the education in that university is going to be. I hope you guys found this video helpful when you're deciding what is the best path for you guys to learn machine learning in? And if you're deciding to pursue a master's program, I hope this was helpful in understanding what you should be looking at. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.